guys, it's Bree with Arco Iris Ranch, and today I wanted to go ahead and give y'all an update on how my flower beds are doing. I'm going to start with the one on the back of the garden, and then we'll move over to the one on the front of the garden. The stuff that's actually in the garden, the vegetables and stuff, I won't show you that until the end of the month. But let me go ahead and turn you around and show you how the beds are looking. So I'm going to start over here on the side where the Beverly Rose is, and she has a bunch of new growth. All the irises in the back, I went ahead and pulled all the brown parts off. So now all you see is the green. Some of them are looking better than others. This is the bougainvillea that I transplanted. Here is my ranunculus. I have a couple of really sweet flowers getting ready to open up right here. This right here is my blue bonnet. And you can see a new bud right there and then there's one down here as well oh and i just saw that one right there too this is my shasta daisy that i had got for a dollar i went ahead and cut off all the dead flowers and this one has buds all over it my peony is starting to do pretty good this is a myrtle gentry peony now moving on to the next bed, that iris is doing really good right there. And then we have our tulips coming up. We have our daffodils coming up in the front. This is a cape daisy. All the leaves on it had died off, but it's got a bunch of new growth coming in. So I'm curious to see how that does. That is a really happy pansy. Moving on down. These are the three butterfly pincushion flowers. They're not looking the best, but that might be because I just got out here and watered them. It's been a couple days, unfortunately, but I think they'll be just fine. And we have my hyssop right here. That one's doing really good. I just planted this one. This is a lantana. I love the colors on that, that yellow and that pink. Really, really pretty. Now, my lavender is not doing good. It has a bunch of brown on it, so I don't know about that. It still smells really good, but she's not looking very good. And these irises, some of them are not looking very good. That one has quite a few things coming up on it. And then this is the candy tuft. She's looking okay. And then I really don't know if these flax lilies are going to come back. So I went ahead and planted this lantana. This is just a purple lantana. Just in case those don't come back. And then this is one of those stalks that I'm pretty positive is done for. This stalk I think is done for. That stalk is on its way out. These irises in this bed are looking really nice. And then we have the nano blue butterfly bush. We have some anemones growing. The stick right here is where another myrtle gentry peony is coming up, but I accidentally broke the tip off, so I don't know if another one's gonna grow out or not. And then we have another bougainvillea a head over heels hibiscus that I don't think is going to come back. And then we do have some, I believe these are alliums, but they didn't do too good in the frost. So that's how these four are looking. Now let's go on the other side. That is one of the yellow irises that I got from my grandma. Went ahead and cut off most of the brown on it. This is another head over heels hibiscus. No new growth on it yet. Those two flocks, I'm still hoping that they're gonna come back. So we'll just keep an eye on them. And same thing with this, what is this? I can't even remember what this is because it's basically been dead since I put it in. And then we have my ornamental onion. That's actually the thing that has the most new growth on it that's coming back, so I'm pretty happy about it. Here we have a butterfly bush. No new growth on it yet, 
but right behind it my double scoop mandarin echinacea you can see the green coming up on it my lily of the nile is not doing anything yet this is my pavonia rock plant i didn't trim it at all and i don't know if i'm supposed to so if you know please let me know down in the comments and then this salvia had new growth on it but when the frost came it zapped the new growth that's a dahlia that i'm pretty positive is rotten but i didn't want to pull it out yeah so here's the other salvia and then that salvia back there same thing it had new growth on it but the frost killed it here's my passion vine that i had trimmed everything off because it was all dead but i left that and it's still green so fingers crossed that comes back moving on the other side here i have another salvia this salvia that dahlia that i'm pretty positive is rotten as well these are the three mums. These are looking pretty good. And I do have a couple alliums popping up down there. This is my big white hibiscus. No signs of life on it. This is my aster. If you look down in there, there is some green on it. And then right next to it is the guara that you can see is coming back. And then one of my lantanas. This is my blue Rose of Sharon. And it's got buds on it. So fingers crossed it starts growing and doing something. And then my other lantana right there. And then my Duranta Sweet Memories, same thing. I couldn't find if I was supposed to trim this back or not. It looks pretty sad, and it has looked pretty sad for a while. So, I don't know. But if you know, let me know what I should do with this. This is actually a Supertunia bubblegum. So, we'll see if it comes back. I transplanted it over here earlier. And then there's another yellow iris back there. And that's how that's looking. If you want to see how my vegetable garden is doing, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that way you'll be reminded when I post a new video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one.